Often referred to as a silent killer, hypertension, more commonly known as high blood pressure, rarely has obvious symptoms. Around 30% of people in England have high blood pressure, but many don't know it. If left untreated, high blood pressure increases your risk of a heart attack or stroke. But what is hypertension? Hypertension, or high blood pressure, is a chronic medical condition in which the arterial blood pressure is elevated. Persistent hypertension is one of the risk factors for stroke and heart failure and is a leading cause of chronic kidney failure. Even a moderate elevation of blood pressure can lead to shortened life expectancy. One of the key issues with high blood pressure is it doesn't have symptoms. The only way of knowing there is a problem is to have your blood pressure measured. Greeting patients and making them feel welcome and comfortable are key to creating a relaxed atmosphere. Make sure the patient has not eaten or drunk anything for 20 to 30 minutes prior to the test. Make sure the patient is sitting comfortably, with a straight back and the arm resting on the desk at the same height as the heart. The patient might find the cuff becomes quite tight, more so if a higher pressure is expected and people can become anxious when having their blood pressure measured. As mentioned before, the patient should remain sitting comfortably, still and without speaking for up to five minutes before any measurements are taken. During this time, avoid making any potentially stressful comments to the patient. The cuff is applied to the mid-upper arm next to the skin. The kinetic blood pressure monitor cuff shows where it should be applied to the arm, above where it bends at the elbow, under which the brachial artery runs. Being able to fit two fingers under the cuff indicates that it is closely applied but not too tight. The patient should be asked not to talk until all the readings have been taken. Often the best results are made from taking two or three readings and using the average of the last two to guide your action. Each reading is taken no less than one minute apart. The aim is to obtain at least two stable reproducible readings.